Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. So it is snowing. Snowing in New York. I don't like the snow. My kids love the snow. <clears throat> I don't. But I'm about to go turn some light bulbs on. And you guys know I have a passion. I love to make people think. <laughs> That's my passion. Helping people to think for themselves so that they can make a better decision for their future. A lot of people, those 800,000, a million people who ain't getting paid right now um, from the government, trust me, they wish and praying right now they had a plan B. Trust me. So here's, here's, here's my whole spiel, guys. One income is a risk. Say that to yourself. If you have one income, you are at risk for starving. You are at risk for being homeless. You are at risk for losing. You are at risk for your kids being removed. Okay? One income is not enough, guys. Okay? You have to have at least three incomes. And I'm not talking about three jobs. Okay? One income can be your job. Okay? Another income can be you selling stuff out of your closet or your garage, right? Another one can be a business, right? Where you have a multi-level marketing, you're selling health and wellness, you're selling uh, financial, you have an e-commerce business, you have a Facebook advertising company, you have a jewelry business, you have a hair business, whatever it is, guys, you need a business, right? I'm not saying, you know, everybody needs to be a full-blown, come on, I'm not saying that everybody needs to be a full-blown entrepreneur, you know, like I am. But, guys, guess what? <laughs> One income is not enough. You need to start looking in your closet today. All that bullshit you got hoarding, you need to learn how to put your stuff online to make an extra $500 a month, right? Then start in a business. You need at least three incomes, guys, right? It's, it's, it's detrimental, right, that you have more incomes coming in. All those people, those millions of people that ain't getting paid right now from the government, trust me, they are wishing that they had a plan B. Trust me, they're praying every fucking day that the government get their shit together. I'm telling you. <laughs> but if you have a plan B in place already, if you have a plan B in place before your job lay you off, or you have a plan B in place before your job fire you, or you have a plan B in place before your job force you to come to work and not get paid, you won't have so much anxiety. You won't be so stressed out. You won't feel so inferior. See, I'm going to go turn some light bulbs on right now. And this is what I love to do. I make about $10,000, $20,000 a month from home. Whether the government shut down or not, I still make money. Because money comes from people. Money doesn't come from the government. Money doesn't come from the mint. I know how to exchange with people. So that this is what I help people understand. You've got to learn how to exchange with people. Not looking for a job. Not trying to go to college. You got to have more than one income, guys. One income is a risk. Your children will starve. You got one income, your children starve. You starve. You robbing Peter to pay Paul. By the time you're 55, you got $100,000 in debt. By the time you retire, you got $100,000 in debt. And now you're making 40% of what you were making. How can you ever get ahead? You cannot get ahead like that, guys. You need more than one income. Need, you need more than one income. One income, guys, is a risk. It is too risky. Then people say starting a business is risky. But having one income is a risk. Once that income goes, then what? What, you looking for another one? What, you scrapping up, uh, uh, scrapping up dollars just to buy some milk? One income is not enough, guys. You got to know how to secure the fucking bag, man. You got to know how to secure the bag. Again, you don't have to listen to me, okay? You don't have to listen to Tanisha, a perfect stranger, this black girl uh, from the hood. You don't have to listen to her uh, talk about making money. Uh, but guess what? As either you're going to listen to me, okay? Or you're going to listen to your boss in the government who can starve your family at any time they feel like it. You make a choice. Because, see, I'm securing a bag every day for my family. See, I love my... If you love your family, you wouldn't put them at risk. 
if you love your children and your spouse, you wouldn't put them at risk for being homeless. You wouldn't put them at risk for being hungry. You wouldn't put them at risk for being put out and starving. If you love your family. People say they love their family, but your family's at risk right now. How many people say they love their family, but right now the government not paying them, so what's their plan B? So you allow the government to starve your family, so you're going to starve your family too? You're going to allow the government to starve your family, <clears throat> so <clears throat> you're going to starve your family too? You're going to allow the government to starve your family, so you're going to starve them too? So that means you don't give a fuck about your family either. If you're allowing the government to starve them and you're starving them, you don't give a fuck about your family. You can say what you want. Oh, Tanisha, don't you talk about? Guess what, baby? I ain't letting the government starve my family. <laughs> that is not in my DNA. Okay? That is not. I should park right there. That is not in my. Um, I could park right here, can I? Let me see. I could park right here. Yep. Yeah. That is not in my DNA, okay? And that is not in my will, and that is not in my purpose to starve my family. So if you love your family, guys, you will start a business part-time. You will start looking in your closet and getting shit and selling shit, you know, online. You will start figuring out, okay, how can I sell some hair? How can I sell, you know, some, uh, you know, some, some bags? How can I sell some cakes? How can I sell some cookies? How can I sell some candy? How can I sell some tea? How can I sell something? Because it's either you sell something or you die. <clears throat> See? I know how to sell stuff. All right? I know how to sell stuff. All right? I'm going to sell some tea last night. <clears throat> sold some tea last night when I did my, my interview. I'm going to go sell some tea now, too. All right? So, I love turning light bulbs on. <laughs> Point blank. Period. So, do you love your family? So, if you love your family, guys, they shouldn't be at risk with one income you shouldn't just have one income for your family that's stupidness guys okay that is fucking retarded okay with all of this shit that we got in the world with all the social media and digital stuff that we got going on ain't no way guys i'm finna have my family starving because the government can't make a fucking decision because trump won a wall listen don't nobody give a fuck about the wall people care about they they family eating okay like i said at the end of the day trump is rich so he don't give a fuck about the poor people, and that's the truth, okay? So if you think Trump give a fuck about you and your family, baby, then let me tell you something. <laughs> you in the wrong mindset. You in the wrong country. Trump don't give a fuck about me, you, your mother, your aunt, your mother who got cancer, your father who got, you know, gout, who, who got high blood. They don't give a fuck. But do you give a fuck about your family? Do you give a fuck about your kids? Do you give a fuck about you eating? Do you give a fuck about your future? Do you give a fuck about your money? Do you give a fuck about your heart? Do you give a fuck about your sanity? Do you give a fuck about your health? Because if you don't, don't worry about the government doing it. They don't give a fuck about you. So it's time to wake up, guys. Get you an extra income, $50. So if you want to spend $50 and you feel like, oh, $50 is a risk, but you only got one income, $50. Get you started, thirty-five dollars a month to understand how money works. So join TanishaMarie.com, guys. I'm about to turn some light bulbs on. See you.